Hi guys, see you again. In this video, we will draw a nylon spatula. It consists of two parts. Frying and handle. Let's just get started. Create extruded surface at front plane. Set line dimension at 91 millimeters. 45 degree angle. Inclination of 25 millimeters. And a radius of 10 millimeters. OK then exit sketch. Select mid plane at depth 80 millimeters. OK. Then create a cutter profile on its slope. Use the trim surface command. Select the cut surface then click OK. Now create a cutting profile on the horizontal surface. Set all dimensions as shown on the screen. Use the same command, namely trim surface. Then click the cut surface. OK. Next, we make a straight slot in the frying pan. Select sketch on the sketch toolbar, then click the surface. First, we make a guide line. Then on the sketch toolbar select straight slot. Click each center line of straight slot of the two guidelines earlier. Set the slot width at 7 mm. The angle between the slots is 3.5 degrees. Copy the top two slots with the mirror command. OK then exit sketch. Select the trim surface then check the keep selections. And click keep surfacing. OK. On the surface toolbar select thicken. Then set the thickness at 5 mm. OK. Next, we make the surface of the frying pan as tapered, cutting off the top. Create a cutting line at the side of the frying pan. Click front plane, then select sketch. Create a line at the sides. Set the dimensions as shown on the screen.
OK. Select split on the toolbar feature. Click cut part then select the top part to be deleted. OK. Now, we are going to make the spatula frame. Click front plane then select sketch. Make a line parallel to the slope of the angle, which is 45 degrees. And a line with an inclination of 30 degrees. Set the slope height at 40 millimeters. And 80 millimeters. Extend the collinear line inward 9 millimeters. Set the bending radius at 37.5 millimeters. OK. Then exit sketch. Select extruded boss on the fitter's toolbar. Select mid plane, then set the depth at 17 millimeters. Uncheck merge. Select the mid plane on the thin feature. Then set thickness at 5 millimeters. OK. On the fitter's toolbar select fillet. Then select the fillet type on full round fillet. Click each side. OK. Next, we create a parting line. On the front plane select sketch. Then create a line on the side of the spatula. Set the tip height of the spatula to 0.5 mm. Angle of inclination of 1 degree. Set the radius at 6.5 mm. OK and exit sketch. Select split line on the feature toolbar. Then click the sides of the parting line position. OK. Now, let's make a separate line on the top of the spatula. Click on the top surface of the spatula, then on the sketch toolbar select sketch. And then select the offset entity. Set the offset distance at 1.2 mm. Click the offset edges. And set the offset distance at 3 mm. Click the outer edge of the spatula. Set the radius at 11 millimeters. Create a spline. Then set add the relation. Exit sketch. On the fitter's toolbar select split line. Click 3 top surface of spatula. Then OK. Next we make a separate line on the lower surface of the spatula. Click the surface then select sketch on the sketch toolbar. And select the offset entities. Set the offset distance at 1.2 mm. Then click the offset edges. Set the offset distance at 0.5 mm, and click the edge of the outer spatula. Set the radius at 11 mm.
at a spline. Then set with the add relation command. Exit sketch. On the fitter's toolbar select split line. Click three bottom surface of spatula. OK. Repeat the split line command by profiling the arc on the shoulder of the spatula. Choose Delete Face command on the surface toolbar. Then click the top Removed. OK. On the Sketch Toolbar, select Sketch 3D. Click on the edge of the surface then choose Select Open Tangency. On the Sketch Toolbar, click Convert Entities. Select Fit Spline. Uncheck Closed Splines. Then select all the Convert Entities in the 3D Sketch. OK. And Exit Sketch. Repeat with the same command. Create an arc sketch profile on the front plane. With a radius of 7 millimeters. Then we make the lofted surface command. Click on the two 3D sketch profiles, then click on the three guide curves. OK. Repeat with the same command for the bottom of the spatula. Starting from delete faces, D sketch convert entities fit spline from 3D sketch convert entities create arc sketch profiles to lofted surface commands
Then select the knit surface on the surface toolbar. Check create solid. Select three faces. OK. On the fitters toolbar, select extruded boss. Then click the surface as the plane. Select offset entities on the sketch toolbar. Set the offset distance at 0.3 mm and 1 mm. Then use trim command. OK and exit sketch. Set depth at 20 mm. OK. Fillet the edges of the frame. Set fillet radius at 1 mm. OK. Choose Combine on the Fitters toolbar, then click the two bodies above. OK. Set its fillet slot radius at 0.5 mm. At the end, we will make the spatula handle. Create a new plane. Select the extruded boss, then create a profile on that new plane. Exit sketch. Choose mid plane, then set the depth at 10 mm. Uncheck merge result. OK. Select draft on the fitters toolbar. Then select neutral plane. Set the draft angle at 3 degrees. Click face to draft. OK. Create fillet and choose asymmetric. Set distance 1 at 8 mm. And distance 2 at 3 mm. Click item to fillet. Click reverse direction. OK. Select extruded cut then click on the new plane. Create an ellipse sketch. Set the dimensions at 15 millimeters and 10 millimeters. Exit sketch. In direction 1, select through all both. Set the draft angle at 1 degree. OK. Select fillet, then set symmetric fillets at 1 millimeter. Click items to fillet. OK. Click the front surface of the handle, then select extruded cut on the fitter's toolbar. Create a center rectangle profile. Set the dimensions at 14.5 mm and 4.8 mm. Exit sketch. Set depth at 22 mm. Set the draft angle at 1 degree. OK. Next we will create the lofted surface, which is used as a top handle cutter. Make two arc profile sketches. On the front plane is a path.
and on the new plane is a profile. Select Swept Surface. Then click Profile and Path. Select Bidirectional. OK. Select Split then click Lofted Surface. And click Cut Bodies. Select the body removed. OK. Select Extruded Boss. Then make a sketch as shown on the screen. Set depth at 2.5 mm. Click bodies to merge. OK. Select a draft then click plane 1 as neutral plane. Click face to draft. Set draft angle at 2 degrees. Click reverse direction. OK. Set fillet at 0.5 mm. Click items to fillet. OK. Click Edit Appearance. Choose black color on the spatula and red color on the handle. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe this channel. See you.